Hi guys, it's Bordrick here, and before I start my commentary, just look at how I'm using this helicopter as an AC-130. It's just pretty funny, but yeah, anyway, onto the commentary. Has Battlefield 4 improved overall since its last DLC, which is Naval Strike? Uh, as you know, Naval Strike has rolled out for the PC, Xbox One, uh the PS4 and everything else it's on. So we're definitely enjoying uh, the new game modes I guess. I haven't really tried out Carrier Assault myself but I don't think that really matters as I just prefer playing Conquest and I find Conquest very fun. Same with Domination. Uh, so I am a bit of a boring Battlefield player but whatever. So the DLC has definitely livened up Battlefield. The only lively map I could really think of on Battlefield 4 was probably Paris or Storm, and that's definitely like the naval strike maps, except without a depressing storm in it. So, uh, I definitely am getting to know some of these maps better. I s yeah, I haven't remembered them off by heart, all their names, like I have the other DLC maps, but uh, be rest assured, I'll eventually learn it after more hours of playing this game. Uh, I'm also rocking out with a P90 after playing the Battlefield 4 campaign and just letting you guys know it's actually not that bad of a campaign as everyone's complaining about. It's It's got some pretty good scenes in it and like epicness. I won't spoil the campaign for you if you haven't played it. Now, so the problem with Battlefield 4 is just it's netcode overall, I guess. Um, when they released Naval Strike for the PC, they also rolled out a really nice patch. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really found any game-breaking bugs. Uh, level cap gaming, I think, went on about this barrier glitch where if someone dies in front of you, there's like a sort of barrier and you can't really die for a few seconds. Apart from that, I don't really see any major problems with this game. Uh, I know there's still issues with the netcode, but to be honest, the hit registration so far for me hasn't been bad at all. Uh, also, I think the maps just... Uh, they remind me of Far Cry 3, how nice they are. Uh, it's nice swimming in the water, getting shot, but still, it it is actually very worth buying Naval Strike when it comes out for regular users. Probably already has. Uh, also, with Battlefield 4, you've got to understand that it isn't acceptable what DICE did to finally have sort of almost fixed it by now. It's not as good as Battlefield 3 netcode yet, but it's getting there. And I reckon it's a bit unfortunate, but by the end of their life, by the end of Battlefield 4's lifetime, I reckon they'll finally have fixed it, but it'll be too late. Hopefully the next game isn't as stuffed up as this in terms of netcode. So... Another thing Naval Strike also offers is 100% Naval Warfare. If you really like the attack boats, definitely, uh, I guess, just play, get this DLC. It's the best for attack boats. Uh, also, what else are going on about uh, how Battlefield 4 has improved? Yes, it's definitely improved. I think the next two DLCs are going to come from another section of DICE. Obviously, it's def all DICE, but there's think two different sections and this is the last DLC from one of them so I think that's why they decided to make it so nice. Uh, hopefully the other part of DICE has realised that we want really pretty DLCs uh, pushing our graphics to the limit not that this is really but it just looks really nice and I hope we don't get any nighttime depressing maps as we usually get but we never know hopefully I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I'm really excited to almost be at my 300 subscriber sort of goal. I'm obviously aiming for a thousand in the long run, but I've always wondered if I could ever get 300 subscribers, and I think I'm basically here. So, if you're new to, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, definitely do it. As there'll be a video soon uh, about my 300 subscriber giveaway, which I'm sure you guys will actually like. It's it's not a crappy game. It's actually a, I guess, AAA title game I'm going to be giving away. So stay tuned for that. Tell your friends to subscribe. And when I release that video, just do what it says in it to get it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and commentary. And remember to have a nice day. See you later.